hello guys in this video today i'm going to discuss tenses so what is meant by tense the tense is the change of form in a verb to express the time of an action there are three principal tenses namely the present tense describes an action in the present time the past tense describes an action in the past time the future tense describes an action in the future time and each of these principal tenses has four forms four forms namely simple or indefinite continuous or imperfect perfect and perfect continuous and all together these three tenses with these four forms collectively make total 12 forms namely present simple present continuous present perfect present perfect continuous the same applies to past and future as well and in this video today i am going to dis discuss simple present simple present continuous and past simple and past continuous and difference among all these four forms at first i would like to discuss present simple tense and we can make present simple tense using the form subject plus verb first form that is nothing but present form and there are some uses of present simple tense the first usage of present simple tense is that it can be used for habits and routines for example i eat breakfast every morning i eat breakfast every morning it is nothing but my hobby and sunil swims one hour every day so daily he swims this is nothing but routine but if you see here in the second example swims is given this is nothing but alternative first form or v5 form and if the subject is either i or you or we or they then it will take the verb like work live swim dance like that suppose if the subject is either he or she or it then alternative first form will come that means works lives swims dances that means we have to add s to the main verb and the second usage of present simple tense is that about facts for example munna works as a teacher so it tells about the ability of munna or the profession of munna and the second example he dances very well it tells about fact it tells fact about someone's ability and one more example water boils at 90 degrees centigrade this is the fact about water please be note that facts can be about people or about things and the third usage of the simple present tense is that to express any permanent state or work at present for example he lives in this house so present is he lives in the house i work in a hotel at present the sun is a star remember that sun is always a star that is nothing but permanent state and the fourth usage of the simple present tense is about to express any definite future course of action for example he plans to marry next year he plans to marry next year that means he shall marry next year one more example she goes to pune next month that means she shall go next month roma sings at the concert next week that means she shall sing next week and the fifth usage of simple present tense is that when two of the future course of actions are started simple present tense is used with the clause beginning with when if unless until as soon as as long as in case before after etc example you will not reach station unless unless you work fast unless you work fast it is wrong to say unless you will walk we will work fast why because as i mentioned here with the 
with these clauses especially whether when if unless until as soon as as long as in case before after always you have to use simple present tense only but it is wrong to say you will work fast similarly one more example he cannot attain divinity as long as again the clause is given as long as he overcomes pride even here also we have to use simple present tense only but it is wrong to say he will overcome pride and coming to present continuous tense we can make present continuous tense using the form subject plus am or is or plus were in form or v4 form and here if the subject is i then you have to use am suppose if the subject is either he or she or it there we have to use is suppose if the subject is either you we they there we have to use are and the first usage of present continuous tense is that to express any course of action that is ongoing for example they are working on a computer first example is they are working on a computer if you see here currently they are working on a computer this is a course course of action that is ongoing right now and one more example he is chatting on the internet so currently he is chatting and the second usage of present continuous tense is that about temporary activities for example ravi is learning to play violin so in this context he is in the process of learning violin but this is not the habit or routine activity unlike simple present tense that is the main difference between present simple tense and present continuous tense present continuous tense deals with only temporary activities but coming to present simple tense deals with regular or daily activities and one more example here my brother is staying with us for a couple of weeks even is staying is nothing but present continuous and this is also temporary activity only and the third usage of present continuous tense is that changes that are taking place are happening now for example the impact of corona is corona virus is increasing rapidly so at this moment at this moment this change is happening that's what we have to use present continuous tense and the fourth usage of present continuous tense is that to express any course of action that is going on presently but not necessary that the action is ongoing at this moment for example he is working on an international project he is working on an international project means presently working she is acting in a maniratnam film means currently or presently she is acting in that film or in that movie and the fifth usage of present continuous tense is to express any definite program about to occur in the near future for example i am going to a party tonight that means at night today at night today i am going to a party this will happen in near future and one more example we are visiting the prime minister tomorrow that means that means the next day tomorrow we will visit prime minister this also will happen in the near future and the next tense is past simple tense we can make past simple simple tense using the form subject plus verb second form or else past tense and the usage of past simple tense is the first use the usage of past simple tense is that to express a course of action that has happened in the past for example she visited me yesterday she visited me yesterday means visited before it was already done one more example see here most of the times in the past tense coming to verb it will take ed form like visited visited moved cooked walked like that past tense always take ed form but if look at the second example he left for new york last month the meaning of this sentence is he already left or else left before left before before this moment at the time of speaking before the time of speaking he already left 
and here if you see in this verb here we didn't use ed form so some verbs have special fast forms in our colloquial language and if you see here some verbs are given here left is nothing but past form of live like live left left here this left this live is present tense and left is past tense rls v2 form and this left is past participle rls v3 form like that some more verbs are given here give give given here given is the past past participle form of give and give is past tense of give and similarly write wrote written build built built and these verbs are called irregular verbs in our english language and there are no rules to make past verbs with these type of words so we have to memorize all and the next usage of past simple tense is to express the nature of the past for example she always stood first in the class here stood is nothing but past tense so she always stood is nothing but nature of the past one more example sanjay never spoke ill of others this is also like past tense only and he never spoke ill that is the meaning of the statement but note that here to state the nature of the past here we discuss nature of the past here to express the nature of the past and similarly here to state the nature of the past sometimes we can use the word used to also for example kathy used to exercise daily so the meaning of this statement is nothing but she took exercise daily so sometimes you can use the word used to also instead of v2 form in the simple past tense and the third usage of simple past tense is that to express the unfulfilled wish or condition or desire etc in the present so we can use the phrases i wish or if or as if or as though or it is time or it is high time etc for example i wish i wish i were a nasa astronaut that means what here i wish is nothing but unfulfilled wish and here were is nothing but simple past tense and coming to it is time it is time is nothing but unfulfilled desire it is time you went to the hospital you went to the hospital is past simple tense and the fourth usage of past simple tense is that if the reporting verb in direct narration is in past tense and the reported speech is in present simple tense then in indirect narration the reported speech is changed to past simple tense for example if you see direct narration in the direct narration she said i run a race here see said said is in simple past tense and run is in present tense that means here in the direct narration coming to coming to reporting verb this reporting verb is in past tense that means in the indirect narration coming to this reported verb also should be in past tense only that's what in the indirect narration the sentence became as she said that she ran a race this ran is past tense of run but there is one exception in this context suppose if this clause is an universal truth then the verb in the sentence is never changed for example in the direct narration if you have she said sun rises in the east even in the indirect narration also she said that sun rises in the east there is no change in the main verb as this is the universal truth and the next one is past continuous tense we can make past continuous tense using the form like using the form okay we can make past continuous tense using the form like was 
subject plus verbs are verb plus verb ing form or else this is called v4 form so v1 is present tense v2 is past tense v3 is past participle and v4 is nothing but ing form and v5 is nothing but alternative first form like works lives stays okay as we discussed already in simple present tense and here if the subject is either i r he r she r it you have to use was and if the subject is either if the subject is either you are we are they we have to use simple we have to use were okay and the first usage of past continuous tense is to express an action that was to express an action that was going on in the past for example he was watching a program yesterday evening it's saying about past action and the second usage of past continuous tense is to express two actions occurred at the same time in the past for example while she was sleeping he was snoring that means here two actions held simultaneously that means sleeping and snoring and the third usage of past continuous tense is that to express any gradual development of something or any incident that makes laugh occurred in the past for example priya was becoming more and more ambitious that means this indicates increase in ambition of priya and the fourth usage next the fourth usage of past continuous tense is that to express the nature of the person in the past which cause others to feel rude or harsh etc for example he was always cheating in the exams so this speaks about habit of cheating so this makes others to feel rude or harsh and the last or fifth usage of past continuous tense is about unfinished ongoing action in the past for example so this is the most important use of past continuous tense and here if you see one example i was having lunch with my family i was having lunch with my family so when the doorbell rang when the doorbell rang that means one more time see i was having lunch with my family when the doorbell rang that means when i was in the middle of having my lunch suddenly doorbell rang so i have to put down my spoon and fork and get up and see who it was so always here if you want to speak about past continuous action or unfinished ongoing action it must you must say one finished action also moreover here if you want to maintain the finished action that interrupted continuous action that must be in the past simple tense like subject plus v2 form here if you see this having lunch started in the past here in the middle of this the doorbell rang this doorbell rang is nothing but finished action in the i was having lunch with my family is nothing but unfinished ongoing action in the past so for the unfinished ongoing in the past along with finished action we have to we can use past continuous tense but always this finished action must be in simple past tense now one more example it was raining when priya left for work here priya left for work is nothing but finished action that's why this is in simple past tense and this is in past continuous tense this is unfinished ongoing activity or continuous activity now we will look at comparison among all these four forms first one is present simple 
I watch TV every morning as the same timeline. So this is regular activity. So past, present, future, always this activity appears. And next present continuous activity, present continuous form. For example, I am watching TV right now. That means at the moment of speaking, I am watching TV. That's what this activity is for only at the moment of speaking for the present. And pause simple. I watched TV yesterday. I watched TV yesterday. That means this happened in the past. So before present on the timeline. And past continuous. For example, I was watching TV this morning when the doorbell rang. Here if you see, as I told you already, I was watching TV this morning is unconditioned, unfinished, ongoing activity. And I told you always it must be followed with one finished action. Here the finished action is the doorbell rang. That means when I was having, when I was watching TV, so the doorbell rang. This interrupted the unfinished ongoing activity in this context we have to use past continuous tense which interrupted unfinished ongoing activity using finished action so in the next video i will discuss remaining forms of all the tenses thank you